Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this very simple electronic oscillator. As you may know, oscillators have many uses in electronics, and there are many different topologies for electronic oscillators. They produce a train of waves at the output that you can use, for example, to fed a transformer, to make sound, and many, many other uses. This one in particular is based on a thyristor or silicon control rectifier. Here you can see the circuit. The thyristor is like a switch. It is open normally and it closes when you apply a certain voltage to the gate. So the circuit works in the following way. When you apply a voltage here, around 10 volts, this capacitor starts to charge via this resistor and then a voltage goes to the gate of the thyristor. That voltage is controlled with this potentiometer. When the voltage reaches its minimum threshold value, the thyristor closes and the current can go through the speaker. But the current draws the capacitor and the voltage drops and then the thyristor closes the pass of current. But then the capacitor starts to charge again and the cycle repeats. Therefore, here at the speaker we will see a train of rectangular waves which will generate a tone. You can hear that tone depending on the frequency of the pulses which is controlled with the potentiometer. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, here it is. Let me turn on the power supply and you can hear the tone. We change the frequency with the potentiometer. And of course, if you need lower or higher frequency, you can also change the capacitor. A capacitor of higher value will give you lower frequencies and vice versa. I have now a larger capacitor, 3.3 microfarads in place of the 0.22 that I had before. So now the frequency must be lower. Let's see. Let's use the oscilloscope to see the pulse train. I'm going to turn on the power and there you can see the pulses. If we lower the frequency, the space between the pulses is larger and vice versa. The pulses are of a very short duration and that is a characteristic of this type of oscillator. Okay, that's all for today. A very simple thyristor oscillator. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.